Hi everyone! Welcome to Dee's Cabbies and Vintage Toys. I'm so excited about today's video. Today we're going to talk about the transitional kids. Um, the kids that came from the year 1989, the year when Coleco and Hasbro were switching hands. So if you want to see my collection of transitional kids and designer line kids, keep watching. Welcome back everyone. I'm so excited to do this video. Um, the transitional kids, the, the, the kids of this whole time period are, are really special to me. Hasbro is actually one of my favorite companies that produce the kids. Um, and of course I love Coleco too because that's where it all started. But um, in 1989, which is called the transitional period, a lot of um, people refer to these kids as transitional kids. So in 1989, Coleco and Hasbro were switching hands. So Coleco was turning everything over to Hasbro. And what happened with a lot of the kids um, was some of them would have Coleco heads and Hasbro bodies and Hasbro clothes. Um, so that's why they're called transitional kids. And they're very sought after because it was one, one year, maybe a little more, um, that all this was going on so it didn't happen for very long and usually in in our cabby world those are the kids that are most sought after the ones that weren't around for that long so what i have here is i have my number five boy and my number 11 boy um and they're both they have the coleco heads but they have their hasbro bodies and um another thing about the 1989 kids this is how you can tell the signature on their butt is rose colored and there's no date. That's a 1989 kid. And these aren't the only kids that um, came out that year. I have some others that I'm going to show you. But these guys are, um, they came in boxes that look like this. So um, different than the original um, Coleco boxes. But they, so they came in boxes that look like this. And if you look on the side, You'll see um, images of little girls and their doll, playing with the dolls, playing with their babies. And then if you look at the back, you'll see the beautiful little girl with her little cabbie. And then on the other side, same thing. So these are very different from the original uh, Coleco boxes. I also want to show you um, a few of my designer line kids. So this handsome little heartthrob right here, he is actually a number four. Okay, so I'm trying to, I, I'm learning too. So I, you know, I'm still trying to understand all this stuff. 1989 was a very, um, it was an amazing year for the Cabbage Patch Kids, but um, there's still a lot of things that are a little uncertain. Um, I, he actually came in this box, okay? So, um, I see him as a transitional kid. But I actually got him the other day, and I just posted him in the group. Some of you guys have already met him and seen him. Little cutie beauty. Um, but I was actually told today by a collector who um, I trust. I trust this girl so much. She really, really knows her stuff. She's been around way longer than me. And her name is Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Um, she actually told me that he is a designer-lined kid, but he's in a transitional box. And she said that she has seen that before. So, 1989 was just a, you know, with a lot of things, there's no rhyme or reason. Just a lot of things happened um, because they were, like I said earlier, they were switching hands. So Hasbro was taking over for Coleco. So they had a lot of leftover stuff. There's even um, a box that looks just like this but says Coleco on it. And I actually had a transitional kid come in it, in a box in a box just like this that says Coleco, but he was a Hasbro kid. So, you know, I, I, I've read, you know, that only these head molds are for transitional kids. And then I've been proven otherwise so um i don't know everything i'm just sharing with you what i do now so this little guy here he did he came in this box um 
but he is, according to Vanessa, he's a designer line kid. And he actually looks like a designer line kid. And I know that designer line um, did um, make number four head molds. And, and that's what he is. He's so cute. I love him anyways. I don't care. <laughs> but he is a 1989. He has the rose um, signature on his bum. So, these two cutie pies are, um, these are designer line kids. Um, so, these are from the designer line um, Cabbage Patch Kids that, you know, also were out in 1989. Um, and I, I would just want you guys to know that the reason that I know that all of these kids, because I checked, believe me, before we did this, I made sure. All of them are from 1989, and I know that because of the signature on their, on their bumps. It's rose-colored. And don't get it confused with the moth, because 1990 was after these guys, and it was a moth color, and it almost looks the same, but it's a little, it's mauve. It's a little lighter. But these guys, sorry, honey, I'm going to show you Fanny. <laughs> um, so... This is what it looks like. There's no date. In 1989s, there's no date. I know a lot of the um, earlier Cabbage Patch Kids had a date with with the um, signature on their bum. You know, every year was a different color and it had a date, but 1989 did not have a date. It's just this rose color right there. So this girl right here, she is a uh, number 36 head mold. She is the Asian head mold. The first Asian head mold that they came out with. And it's number 36. And she's wearing this gorgeous um, designer line outfit. So the designer line kids were these real like 80s inspired funky outfits. And they were just so cool. So 80s. Look at them. Don't they look totally rad? <laughs> Okay, so this guy here, I know, I'm silly. This guy is, um, he's a designer line. He's so cute. He's one of my favorite kids. Look at him. Look how cute he is. And he is a number 45. So um, these two kids actually are very uh, common head molds for designer lines. You know, So if you're looking for designer line kids, you're going, you're out there looking for them in the wild. Th these are the ones you're going to come across. Um, these are very, very common designer line kid head molds. They're little sneakers. They're just, they're awesome. I love them. I know that I've been um, experiencing expressing over and over and over again how um, you can find out if you have a 1989 kid by checking the uh, color of the signature on the bum. So again, it's rose colored and it doesn't have a date. So it won't say 89, but it is rose color. Another thing is um, with the transitional kits, a lot of them had um, Coleco heads. So on the back of their head, it would either say Coleco or it would just say um, you know some numbers or something but it won't say Hasbro but then if you look at the side tag on the kid it will say Hasbro so some of them came like that um, they had Coleco heads and Hasbro bodies and you know Hasbro clothing so that's another way that you can check to see if you happen to have a transitional period kid in your collection so Another thing that happened in 1989 is this right here. I am so proud of this set. This is the Hasbro Cabbage Patch Kids friend set. So these are very, very hard to find. Um, I got really lucky because my friend Nicole had one and I adopted these beautiful girls from her about a year ago. I've had it for a while now. Um, and I, I keep them in their box because the box is very important in this case. I know a lot of people don't like to keep their babies in the boxes, but certain ones you have to, like sets like this. Because without the box, it's it's not a friend set. It's just a, a baby and her little toddler friend. <laughs> so, the 1989 friend set, I... I've been told um, is basically they took their leftover kids and their leftover toddlers and they put them in in a box together because again this is Coleco changing hands with Hasbro and they're trying to get rid of everything and you know start fresh so this is what they came up with um, and this was I believe this was sold only in Walmart 
It was a Walmart exclusive, and I believe it was only sold for three months. I know it was sold in Walmart, but I believe it was only for three months that they sold this set. So there's not many out there, and I have one, and I have, I have a number 30 girl in here. She's my only number 30 kid. Number 30s are very, very hard to find, the number 30 head mold. She's the only one that I have. That's why this means so much to me because it's it's the friend set and I have my number 30 girl in here. So let's see, I wanna show you. This is my friend set. This is, uh, the big girl is Hertha Erica. I'm not crazy about her name, but I am crazy about her. She's a number 30 head mold. Um, she's, I want to say, probably one of the rarest Cabbage Patch Kids that you can find. Um, I only have one of her in my collection. She really, really is hard to find. And it's not because I don't want any more. It's because she's really that rare. Um, she's beautiful. She's got the lemon loops. Oh, she's so cute. And then her little friend that she has with her is... Um, She's a little toddler girl, and her name is Nadine Lucinda. She's a little cutie, too. This set is, is just such an amazing set to have. I, I am so proud of this. I'm so glad that I was able to find this and I add it to my collection. Um, I couldn't thank Nicole enough when um, I was able to adopt these cuties from her. Thank you guys so much for letting me show you my 1989 kids. Um, I, I, these are some of my favorites. They really are. And I know I say, <laughs> I say that all the time, but it's true. <laughs> they are. These are my favorites. They're, it, 1989 was an amazing year for the Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, you know, this was this was very significant in, in the history of these dolls because Coleco... That's when Coleco was passing the baton or passing the torch, however you want to say it. And that's huge. And I'm, I'm really proud to say that I have some of the dolls from, from that period, from that time um, when the Cabbage Patch Kids, you know, were changing companies. That's a really big deal. And they did a great job figuring out how they were going to move forward, you know, with this company. I think that they did an amazing job with the friends set, with the designer line kids, the transitional kids, all of it's amazing. And I'm, I'm really, really glad that I was able to share it with you guys. Thanks again for watching, for everything that you guys do to support me. Um, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!